ඉන්දියා බ්‍රේක් එකේ කියලා අර 10 ඒප්‍රිල් එකේ කියලා විනාඩි 5ක්
take care of your aches and pains. Sidali Labor Spray. Trusted for eight decades for quick relief from all aches and pains. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. Then odorless dark shanin. Nippon odorless paints. Tatve nosas honda materina. Nippon paints live with colors. Nippon paints live with colors. Take care of your aches and pains. Sidali Labor Spray. Trusted for eight decades for quick relief from all aches and pains. Welcome to live coverage of this Clifford Cup semi-final between CRNFC and Police Sports Club for what is going to be an absolute cracker of a game, I'm sure, as uh, both clubs battle for the prestigious Clifford Cup, uh, which is on offer. It's an over 100-year-old competition, and it's on offer once again after a lapse of a couple of years because of the COVID uh, pandemic. But we are now back to uh, action as usual as the Seattle FC team who are probably favorites going into this game given their second place finish in the league and also the fact that it is their centenary year they will want to cap it off with a big win uh, they're already winners of uh, the Clifford Cup many times over but they would want this to be one of their most recent wins and that's something that I'm sure that the uh, red shirts will want to take home into their trophy cabinet but the blue shirts will not want to give that away easily certainly because police have been getting better and better as the league finish that lost to Air Force in their final game of the season will have been well behind them now and they managed to demolish the same opposition last week and they will come into the semi-final with a lot of confidence. That's the standings uh, or at least that's the draw. Uh, we had CRNFC receiving a buy in the first round. Police and Air Force battled it out and that was a really good win for police after losing to the same op opposition in the plate final. And then of course we had Havelocks taking on Army and a surprise win for Army in that uh, encounter and then we had uh, Navy Sports Club who also received a bye because of by virtue of their third place finish in the league and that match will come to you on Thursday from the same venue as well so the Clifford Cup uh, aptly being called by uh, Clifford in the commentary box with me as well but we'll get to that just after the CRNFC team card Lahiru Pavitra Amit Guru Singh Kalindu Kari Havasam Ravin De Silva and Soiru Anthony combined in the second row Radishan Achitta Bagisha Veera Singh returns from a shoulder injury Lasindu Karanathilaka restored to the starting lineup Kavindu Dikasa Tenuka Nane Akara Kalindu Nandila is still uh, on the left wing as Manilka Ruberu makes uh, a welcome return to the number 12 jersey for CRNFC Chatura Seniratna at 30 
Kanti and Gamma Nuchetia and Zube Dore, pretty much a first choice size side force here. Dilshan Jaya, Senator Pereira, Kavin Srivikum, Shanal Adhikari, Harshan Eranda, Viduna Amanet, Chemod Mutunayaka, and Kavindu Yasas making up the bench for the Longdon Place lads who have just made a short trip from across uh, the town. And then police also who've made a short trip down uh, Havelock Road, Amjad Faumi, Dulanjana Vijay Singh, Hashan Fernando, Hafi Stabit, Mohan Vimaratna, the captain, has been outstanding. And Chana Kasuria Perum also in the line out, leading with a lot of experience. Lahiru Tilakaratna and Heshan Tilakaratna have been good uh, for police. Premier Danushka is a live wire scrum half. Prince Chamara is at fly half today. Janit Chanaka returns to the left wing. Rukshan Madhusanka and Akash Madhusanka, two very dangerous runners. And I think the CR midfield will have their hands full with these two boys if they get some ball. Sujan Koditoaku and Shane Hopwood is the last line of defense. Danush Kedrasuri and Rasit Silva, Deshan Fernando bringing in a lot of weight off that bench for the police lads. Shanaka Harishchanto, also an experienced campaigner, former captain of police on the bench today. Udaya Sanjula, Pradeep Kumara, Shavin Javadana, and Vihanga Pivituru will make up the rest of the bench for uh, police sports club. So it's going to be a great match, Clifford Club and uh, Clifford Surendra in the commentary box with me as well. A 112-year-old trophy, Clifford, lots to play for. But again, Belize, on the other hand, well, having a fantastic season this year, and um, on the first leg, they can also overcome the or rather become the runners up in the first leg. I think that was a big show from Dubai, a big run in the previous uh, classes, and now they are playing against the mighty Kerala FC. So I would say equal opportunity, but for the top, I think the Kerala FC is going to be going as favourites. Yes, it's going to be a cracking game, that's for sure, because uh, police have nothing to lose, and they have to make sure that they will go back with some kind of uh, trophy uh, to be shown uh, to their faithful at the police field force headquarters just down the road, and that's something that I'm sure they will be uh, eyeing, that Clifford Cup. The 112-year-old Clifford Cup, of course, initially awarded by uh, Lady Clifford, who was the uh, wife of uh, Sir Hugh Clifford, who was colonial secretary and then was uh, elevated to governor of Ceylon, as it then was. This was uh, initially given for a trophy between uh, the British uh, regiment serving here in Sri Lanka and the all Ceylon 15 as well, comprised of the expatriate rugby community here in Sri Lanka. We may not uh, remember, of course, that uh, rugby was almost an exclusively expatriate game back in the early 1900s. And uh, this club that's on show, CRNFC, in 1922, was the first club that was founded for Sri Lankan um, players to play uh, club rugby and that's when uh, people who were not expats were allowed to join a club and actually play rugby in the way that they uh, wanted it to be played so uh, that's a big step of course for the Clifford Cup and for CRNFC as well in 1922 and in 1950 the Clifford Cup uh, began to be given away for the winners of the league championship so the Clifford Cup which was a two-person uh, uh, two-team uh, draw rather expanded to a four-team draw and then became uh, something that uh, all the league played for and the first winners in 1950 were Havelocks and uh, they held on to that town for a couple of times longer. Unfortunately, we won't be seeing them uh, taking part in this competition anymore because they lost in the quarterfinals, a surprise loss uh, to Army after such a good showing at the start of the league season. Everyone expected them to be at least a semi-final contender but uh, Army knocking them off that spot. You can see Mohan Vimalaratna, the uh, skipper of the police team, asking for help, uh, not just from his 14 teammates, but hopefully someone from above as well as they take on uh, this CRNFC team. Don't make any mistake, this police team will be brimming with confidence after that big win against, CR against uh, Air Force. And uh, CRNFC will have had a little bit more rest, given the fact that they uh, have not been able to uh, play that quarterfinal. And they will be expected to use that rest to good effect. And let's see how that goes. A big thank you, of course, at the start of the broadcast to Mr. Neil Vijayaratna, a certified rugby historian, one of the most interesting gentlemen to talk about uh, Sri Lanka rugby with. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Neil Vijayaratna, for letting us uh, have all the history to share with our viewers today on uh, this Clifford Cup uh, tournament. So it's a big game. For one of these teams, it will be their last game. 
for 2023. We'll find out who that is in the next uh, 80 minutes or so. Don't forget the addition of Dulanjana Vijay Singh is something that CRNFC have not had to deal with before. So that's something that uh, will be a change in the way that this police team competes as well. But for CR, they are back with uh, their full complement. Manilka Ruberu coming back after a bad hamstring injury in the final round game against Havelocks. And uh, he was not available for Candy Sports Club's uh, battle with uh, the CRNFC up in Nittavala. But he's back today and that will be a big boost for coach Lasinta Di Costa and head coach uh, Dushant Luque as well. As we uh, look out over this uh, picturesque ground here, another very historic ground where... Sri Lanka hosted the All Blacks for the first time in 1907. Well, for the only time, I should say, in 1907. So plenty of history, not just uh, in these two uh, shirts, in the blue shirt of police and the red shirt of CRNFC, but in this whole location, in this whole tournament. And um, for all of us here who are watching rugby in, back in 2023, after the tournament, was uh, the club was first awarded in 1911. going to be an outstanding game I'm sure as uh, it will be police to receive the kickoff Chatra Seneviratna is the man who will be kicking off for CRNFC in that number 13 jersey oh, beautiful atmosphere here and what a great afternoon for a knockout game. Weekday, but still you can see crowd gathering. And we can see a lot of people joining on our live coverage. And there you go, CRNFC starts. Kicked off by Chatura, right down to uh, Dulanjana Vijay Singer, who takes the onus of clearing himself. So he's playing at hooker, but thought nothing about sending that ball deep into uh, touch and it will be the first line out for CR, something that has plagued them for a while this season but they've gone with a five man line out immediately they go all the way to the back well collected by Ravin De Silva he had to do some acrobatics up there but knocked forward and you can't blame Ravin because he came down almost on his side Players did well to keep him up there and he did well to receive it. And Mohan Vimalaratna has a go at uh, the hooker, as you would want to get under the skin of the opposition in the first few minutes. Yeah, I think probably the wind would have contributed as well. A little bit breezy here, but nice weather. And um, if you look at Pali's lineup, strong as ever. They have done fantastic work throughout the season. And today they're going to be a real threat to CRNFC. There you go, the real test starts here. The first scrum of the game, and police have their ball. Primesh Danushka to feed. We have a massive scrum against the head by, uh, sorry, not against the head, but a massive scrum by police. Gavin Chete getting under it, but not being able to collect that ball cleanly. Zubair Dure muscled off the ball as well, but now CRNFC have it through Vagi Shavira Singha. He leaves the ball behind and eventually dragged into touch. Was the police 14? Chanit Chanaka, who is making a welcome return after an ACL injury, which kept him out for quite a long while from this police jersey. Ravin Alexander will be our referee today, assisted by Hasan Taveranga and Gihan Yatavara. Okay, okay, okay. Yatavara on the near side. And CI and FC have now gone to the other side of the field from the original lineout, so the hooker will need to make sure he sorts out his throw. This time it's much better. Ravin uh, De Silva, who collects it, hands it off to Soiru Anthony experienced Sri Lanka player Anthony finding his way into a CRNFC jersey this year good hands from uh, Sia cutting back into center field was Kalindu Nandila who's playing on the left wing side today preferred ahead of 
Ekanayaka and Ravin Alexander has spotted another knock on. So Sia letting themselves down with a few knock ons early on. And giving up play to this big scrum. Clifford, the way they monstered that first scrum was really a sight to behold for police. Yeah, of course, Sanaka. And also, if you look at it, see, uh, CR is trying to press it through the uh, forwards pretty much. And they know what the strength they have. But in the meantime, police would like to run the ball around. But also, we know police also do have a strong uh, forwards lineup. So this is going to be a good condition. And I think pretty much of the first half, what we are going to see is the contest between the forwards. Interesting that Dulanjana Vijay Singh is now packing down at number eight. So you might see him coming off the back. And it's Achit Radishan on the far side who may have to deal with the man mountain that is Vijay Singh hurtling at him. Ravin Alexander, the referee, wants uh, to see what's going on on the far side between the police tight head and the CR loose head. It's a big scrum to start with from uh, police and that would have really demoralized CR a little. Here they go again. Dulanjana holding it at the back, trying to milk a penalty. And now he gets it, playing the advantage. So Premier Stanushka will try to run, but uh, referee Ravin Alexander has no hesitation. She says the CR pack uh, broke away. So it looks like it could be a long afternoon, Clifford, if the scrum goes this way and there are a few scrums in the game. Well, sadly, the early stages will be a little bit uh, pushing and pulling. But then again, I'm sure this game's got plenty of wire and like, you know, it's going to get uh, even better. And uh, looking at these two sides, how they have prepared, knowing this is going to be a knockout championship. And definitely, this is going to be an exciting encounter. And police, if you look at it, well, they are very much well planned. And you can see how composed they are and compared to CR's side. But on the other hand, CR also thriving in confidence, which is very important for a game at this stage. And um, the line-outs, they've been doing it well. But then again, police right now. And good take. And that's going to be a loose ball. Oh, breaking away and CR defense struggling to bring that down. Yeah, but seems like a turnover ball. CR have done so well to turn that around, but looking for options on both ends. And for the first time, they're spreading their wings. Chatra Seniratna putting that down inside the 22, and Shane Hopwood has no option but to grab it quickly. Gamunu Chetia needs to realize that if he's to take a quick throw in, he needs to go behind where the ball was, ball went out. So it's a little bit of a lack of awareness that prevented what could have been a quick throw. But a good grubber down the touch line from Chatra Seniratna. So again, the line out is something that CRNFC will have to struggle with tick, if tick, they're tick, not tick. careful got a new throw and they've gone immediately to two really long throws not sure that's the most sensible thing to do if your line out is wobbly but radishan is up in front at number two this time so they've thought better of going long and set up a much better mall for themselves as a result of that short throw coming to decosta now at the back of that mall, marching it towards the touchline, our police done well to keep it <laughs> from going across. The ball's gone all the way down, and uh, Sia have really not helped themselves at all. It's becoming a repeat of what we saw up in Nithavala Clifford that they've got into really good positions, good opportunities, and just make mistakes. Well, lots of concentration, I guess. Uh, probably they're getting along with the flow, but then again. This is not the right team to do it. It's a knockout. It's a deciding game. You have to get your uh, act together. These are small things. I think probably the scrum off can call those shots. But again, the forwards have to be a little bit organized. But on the other hand, Chatura Senior had a good kick. And I'm happy to see his growth being a hot-tempered schoolboy to a mature player now. And he's a real, real con uh, threat in this game. Well, he could be a threat if he plays well. He's a bit like Goldilocks. He's 
Sometimes very, very Five. good. <laughs> Sometimes not so much. <laughs> Set. Dede. Dede. So again, the second scrum for police, or the third scrum, they'll have to march this one forward. They're really making a statement here, trying to milk the penalties. Sierra's uh, pack has disintegrated. And now, with the advantage, police will try to run this one, but uh, they'll come back for the penalty because there's no advantage accruing. And certainly, Ravin Alexander coming back. This Clifford Cup, of course, uh, awarded at a time that the plantations were really ruling the rugby community. Lots of expatriate players. Sri Ravin Alexander having a chat with uh, the CR front row, saying you can't come up, you have to stay bound, even if you're marching backwards. So this is good to see, Clifford. A little bit of intervention from the referee saying, this is the problem, mate. I want you to fix it, otherwise I'll have to penalise you. So that's good communication. Well, the message is loud and clear, and um, I'm sure the team will understand what the referee was trying to communicate because, see, they can't be having those errors, and this is kind of a caution as well, so which is a good call. But on the other hand, police, a little bit of a breather for them, and CR was putting a little bit pressure on them right now. They got a little bit of space to get out of jail. But if you also look at, like you rightly said earlier, or rather some things you spotted, Dulanjan Vijay coming at number eight is making an impact in those crumbs. And um, he's been able to turn around two scrums now back to back. Yeah, it's been a really dominant performance so far by the police forwards. Vijay Singh uh, looked like he had a badly strapped ankle in the semi in the quarter final, but didn't worry him one bit. Here he is taking on the mantle of throwing as well. And that's uh, well stolen at the front, but police come back and get it. Nobody seemed to want the ball for Sia. And again, a big penalty coming in, taken quickly by Primesh Tanushka. Might have thrown the ball away, might have thrown away a chance, and here it is. Yes, there was a knock on there, so Primesh Tanushka took it quickly. But police won't mind this because it's a scrum in the opposition's half. It'll be the first time that they've encroached into the opposition half. And even though it's only by a few meters, that will get their heads up. And watch for Dulanjana Videshinga on the open side towards the pavilion. Well, the last couple of minutes the game has been a little bit lethargic, so probably he thought of spicing it up by taking a quick tap. But there was no proper support play. And uh, from there on was a little bit of Haji Baji there, or rather let me say like a little bit of improper ball handling. But CR, they have the ball in hand. And police, like you said, first time inside the CR territory. And um, they luck to retain position and move forward. So on this uh, defensive scrum, Dulanjana Vidashinga goes to the front. And Surya Perma to the back. Big push and Lashan Devishan comes off. Good pass out to Manil Karuberu who's isolated, needs some help. And Karnatilakad as well to get there. Now it's available for the big prop forward of uh, CRNFC. It's qu a quick ball. Then Uganana spotting a bit of a gap and putting it through. Shane Hopwood gathering. Police have turned and uh, recovered well. And the penalty now comes the opposite way. So referee Robin Alexander very quick on that infringement. Doesn't want players to go past the ball with their hands. Doesn't want them to fall on the ball. And uh, Kavindu de Costa wastes no time in pointing to the posts. Well, Shanak in the first place, that pass was never meant to be for Amjad Farm. You can look at it. It was supposed to be a long cut out pass, but he just put his hands out and grabbed it. And um, then again, he got isolated. So the turnover penalty and it's a great chance to for CR to get some points on the board that will give them some confidence and uh, Chatra Sinivaratna so far so good in the season for CR and FC if we can make this count and that's going to give them an advantage very sensible decision yes they've spent quite a bit of time now 
most of this 12 minutes on our clock in the police half and I have nothing to show for it despite getting close a few times. So getting points on the board especially in this big knockout final or semi-final I should say is good thinking by Kavindri Costa and execution is good this time from Chatra Seniviratna. He's been a little up and down in his kicking. Started off the season really well and then fell away. And uh, this all goes well for Sierra FC. If he's on target today, you can see how much distance he got on that. That ball was still going upwards when it passed the posts. So there's no denying his undeniable talent. So that's a good start to Sierra FC. 3 0 on the board. Police on the back foot. I'm sure they have plenty of time and gas in hand to fight back and the restart. Uh, high hanging kick. So police 50 years on trying to emulate their first foray into the finals in 1962. Our historian Neil Vijayaratna has given us all this information. We're very grateful to him as Shane Hopwood thumps this one up in the air. Well chased but also equally well taken by Khalidu Namdila, who fights for a little bit of time before his support can get there. And Chatra Seniviratna this time will thump it long and deep to the danger man. Here's Dulanjana Vijay Singh. He'll get up ahead of steam, but Lasandu Vishan Karnatilaka goes low and fells his man, Manilka Ruberu now, to Dore. Here's a little bit of space for Gamanu Chetia. But the referee will uh, have a chat to his assistant, Yatavara. Red number eight. Red number eight. Without down, tackle can't be block tackle can't be. So this will be the last warning. So it's starting the penalty, right? Well, uh, that was about Lassen Lavishan's tackle. He went low. And I thought I saw an attempt to wrap, but Gihan Yatavara didn't. It's obviously, that you have to be commonsensical when you approach these. Here it is, going nice and low. So you'd be hard pressed to get your arms around Dulan Janavija Singh at that pace, but just bumped him off. But the penalty is with. Police and they will go into the opposition 22 for the first time. have been very instrumental in getting three penalties. And, um, well, that was actually a tough one going face to face. And um, just going to a block tackle very low, very unfortunate. But again, police deep inside on uh, CRNFC territory. And this is going to be, if they can get their line out right. Like the previous couple location, I'm sure they'll be able to make something out of the Sharaka. Absolutely, uh, Clifford. Police's line out has probably been one of the best in the competition. Here's Mohan Vimalaratna calls for it himself and taken easily at the top. Here's Surya Perma wearing the number eight jersey today. Quick ball for Primesh Danushka. So no Johan Piris in the uh, line out today. It's Prince Chamara who's at away. number 10. Not rolling, away. Not rolling away from one of the CR players. That uh, looks Not like it's number 31. Ashan Darling on the floor. So number 31. Not rolling away. In fact, it's Kalindu Kariya Vasan. And this should be easy points. Well, <laughs> I was waiting for the decision. Going to be what interesting decision going to be probably a scrum or going for touch or maybe going for goal so a sensible thing they want to get the points on board to make things even before they restart and uh, remember that this is what happened in when they were playing against uh, air force in the league game shanaka they were not taking those chances and gradually the points were getting away from them. So this time they decided against that, which is, which makes sense. We learn from the mistakes. Absolutely. And the Prince Chamara. 
wearing 15 on his back but playing in the fly half position looking to put the first points on the board for police and uh, easy does it for Prince Chandra and the first points for police in this uh, Clifford Cup semi-final well not sure the uh, scoreboard reads accurately. It should be three points all at the moment. Oh, there you go. That's a replay. Just a simple punch. And the ball goes between the pills. So three all. It's all even now. And CR to restart again. Police showing some stealth. And um, getting back their mojo. Once again, CR pressing hard inside, deep inside police territory. Tackle by Vagi Shavira Singh there. Dragging the police player down deep in his own territory, and they will now have an attacking line out. What that means, of course, will remain to be seen because uh, CR and FC have this unique ability to completely botch up uh, an attacking opportunity, especially if it's a line out in the opposition 22. So. If you're a Red Shirts fan, don't get too close to the edge of your seat. Because the police line-out has been excellent, uh, Clifford. They've got a couple of maybe basketball players at Field Force headquarters. Maybe they play a bit of basketball as their warm-up. Dulanjana Vijay Singh, I'm sure, has played basketball for Wesley. So he'll be able to instruct these jumpers, Mohan Vimaradatna and Chanaka Surya Peruma. Not got a lot of options in the lineup, but the ones they do, they use really well, police. And that's something that CR will have to start doing as well. Ravin De Silva looks like he'll be the target man. In fact, it's Vagi Shavira Singh in the middle. And it's really well done. Bringing that one down. And no advantage. Referee Ravin Alexander didn't see anything wrong in uh, that collapsing as uh, Chatra Seni Ratna takes three players to bring him down, but he's had the ball stripped from him. And that uh, looked like it was a strip, but the referee seeing a knock on instead. And getting close, but no cigar again for CRNFC. Certainly was a strip, so there's no knock on, and there was a knock on from a police player there. So, in that melee, Ravin Alexander missing that strip. Well, that'll give some breathing space for police. And CR had a good passage of play, good line out, and well driven by Chatur Senaratna. But right now, police. They have a little bit of breathing space to get things back okay. in order. But on the other hand, CR, once they get into the opposition territory, they are pretty strong. But then again, Shanaka, they are not converting those opportunities into points. This is not the first time we saw in this game so far. Already three or four times it has happened. Indeed. And the stop-start game will suit their style. CR will want a little bit more flowing, but this game so far, the last 21 minutes, has been very stop-start. Lots of breaks between the scrums. Himesh Danushka feeding that as he's now allowed to do into the second row. And uh, this is where the penalty comes. So referee Ravin Alexander explaining what uh, he did before. Duranjana Vijay Singh wanted to go quickly, but too quickly for referee Alexander's liking. <laughs> that was an interesting call. Taking a short tap inside. Probably knew there was a player behind him and trying to get that 10 yards advantage. Well, see, I have got to be careful, don't they? Because it's about the third time that they're giving away this same penalty. It might not be long before they see one of their front row players going to the bin. Break. 
And uh, it looks like it's a water break, so as if we haven't had enough stoppages, we have a yet another one. And it will the water will be the water break that's designated before the game. And uh, here you can see the pack leader, Soiru Anthony, and the captain. Just asking exactly what's uh, going on. Ref assistant referee Weranga not wanting his colleague to get too involved in the chat in the break. Massive history for this Clifford Cup, Shanaka, donated by Lady Clifford. And the inauguration was in 1911, but actually, when it comes to the club championship, it was 1950. Mm -hmm. um, all the clubs uh, were taking part in that, and Havelock seems to be the first winners, the inaugural winners of the club championship. Quite interesting. And in 1985 was the first time that there were two cups awarded. There was one given for the league champions and a separate knockout tournament for the Clifford Cup and that's the format which we see here today. It's a format that has continued since 1985. Nippon Paints sponsoring the league as well as this Clifford Cup tournament. Very grateful for them for being on board with Sri Lanka Rugby. See the, some of the brains trust at the back there of CRNFC, Dinukti Silva Vijayaratna. Next to him, Manda Nalin De Silva of Sri Lanka Rugby and the tournament committee. As we see, Dulanjana Vijay Singh at the back of that mall, directing it into space. And referee Ravin Alexander, consistent with his call there. Sports Ads, one of your leading production houses for live events, multi-camera productions, live replays, graphic solutions, interviews, sports specialists, bringing this Nippon Paints Clifford Cup semi-final to you live from the race course. Well, race course used to be the airfield during the Second World War. And then again it became a, in fact, a race course with the stables. And now, the International Rugby Stadium. Well maintained, and beautiful atmosphere always when you walk in here. Massive stadium-like atmosphere. Good pavilion, very colonial structure. It's spicing up the game. Big drive from police, but uh, Kavinda de Costa manages to get it away in time. Yes, Khalidun Nandila coming in off his wing through the hands for Gamanu Chetia, but uh, Sia's attack drifting sideways, so police covered it fairly easily. Good tackle in the end by the police team. Run away, run away, blue! Advantage! Sia still with the ball, but not rolling away is the call. Chatra Seneviratna will step up again, perhaps point to the sticks. It's well within his range. And yes, Sia will hope to get even more points on board. It's a very close game, nothing in it. The only dominance there being shown is by police's pack over Sia in their scrum. There's the tackle from police number 15. Prince Jamara. Shanaka looking at his previous kick and uh, with the support of the wind, I'm sure this is very much within his kickable distance. And if he can make it count, that'll be one of the greatest kicks uh, in this year's championship so far. Well, he's kicked a couple from even beyond the halfway line, so this should be well within his range. But accuracy has been the problem for Chatra Seniratna over. A few key games for Sia, fortunately for them, didn't affect them too much in terms of results, but would have helped them get their points for tally much higher. Strikes that beautifully. However, it's just a little bit to the left, outside the off stump. 
And they will now face it. You can see he's frustrated with that. So the score will remain at three all. Police opting to go faster instead of going deeper. Quick uh, 22 meter dropout. That's not something we see often in the modern game. Don't move, don't move. Zubair manages to time his tackle well. Here's Amjad Faumi bustling through. Shane Hopwood now with a little chip kick into the opposition. 22, no option. But for Chatra Senegrata to throw that ball out and uh, that should be a penalty. He can't throw the ball out. He could have run it into touch, but he can't throw the ball out. So I think CRNFC have got away with one there. You're not allowed to pass or throw the ball out. You can only kick or run the ball out. So that's something for the young players watching. If they're ever in a situation like that, you've got to carry the ball over the line. Doesn't matter though, as police will have the throw in just maybe 10 meters back from where they would have had it if the penalty was given. See, are trying to sack that line out, but getting the ball away quickly to Surya Peruma, who does well to go over the top of Lasin Duvishan. Nice short pass. And now the pick can go. This is where they're so strong. That was Deshan Fernando. Hashan Fernando, rather. Here's Dulanjana, barging his way towards the line. Almost unstoppable from five meters out. Primesh Danushka, Surya Peruma. The timing wasn't great, but he got there in the end. Here's police sizing up their options. They know that this pick and go is their bread and butter. Dulanjana over the line and he scores. Referee hasn't seen it, though. And he'll have a chat with his <laughs> assistant, Gihan Yatavara, on this side. Looked very much like Dulanjana got it over the line. And that's exactly what Gihan Yatavara has said as well. Seems to find his way to the try line. Well, that was a close one, but then again, we have to take a look at the replay. But again, like you said, pick and go has been their bread and butter, and they have done so well. Huh? Look at that, Shanaka. There's Dulanjan on the right-hand side of your screen. Sees the ball here. Achit Radishan off his feet. And that looks like it's over the line. So I think that's a try, but Radishan should have done better to get back to his... And I think he knew as well that the ball was grounded. Nice call, nice call. Referee Ravin Alexander not in the correct spot. Where but Gihan Yatavara was. And that's why there's a team of referees. Because it's impossible for one band to see everything. Prince Chamara taking this one quite far back for a straightforward kick. And police in the lead for the first time in this game. taking his time to ensure and a couple of players charging and still managed to get it through 10-3 and this is going to be a little bit of advantage for Phyllis and CR will be under pressure and like we projected a little bit early on the game it is going to be the forwards game and Phyllis have done well so far Number 31. yes 10 points to, re to 3 at half time you'll read a lot better than 8 points to 3 and we're already half an hour gone. So CRNFC haven't shown a lot of intent. If they are the favourites for this cup, then they really have to show it now rather than wait much longer. Whereas police seem to back on. have been slowly coming into ascendancy in this game, controlling it. And CR keeping the ball where police are the strongest rather than giving it to their backs. Okay, and trying to keep the ball alive and keep it running longer. Looks like there's a bit of a mix-up in the okay. 
in the substitutions. The substitution cards flying all over in the wind as well. Looks like Sia might have made one substitute. Looks like it's uh, big number one. Kalindu Karyavasan that went off. And ball is knocked on from the kickoff and the ball is still available as CRNFC will dot it down <coughs> and uh, looks like Gihan Yatavar is getting quite involved in the refereeing of this game some very crucial decisions Penalty only. From here. Blue number 11. Yes. In the back. seemed back. like there was a knock on so Comes. Seems like the referee is not positioning himself in the right places and therefore missing out on <coughs> crucial elements and probably that was the call, it was a late tackle I guess. Uh, it was for I think pulling back the player who was chasing that ball. Right. So that's interesting whether there should be a yellow card there as well then because there was a try scoring opportunity perhaps as that ball was loose. And why your advantage wasn't played all the way through? Well, I was under the impression the referee was playing advantage. We know there was an infringement. We were not clear of what it was. But then again, the referee was playing advantage. And actually, two CR players were chasing the ball as well. <laughs> Could have been a different story now. But right now, CR has a chance to reduce the deficit change of boots. Chatra misses one, and uh, Tenukanane Akara gets the opportunity to uh, put Sia within four points rather than seven. Easy strike for Nadia Karaf as his first kick. Been shuffling their kicking duties between the two of them, Tenuka and Chatura. Tenuka scored up in Nittavala as well in that uh, league final. Didn't have a great game defensively, but my apologies. The number eight for police is Heshan Tilakaratna, not uh, Surya Peruma. He's been doing some really good work. The back of the scrum. Get taken in. Senior Ratna. Will thump this one as far down the pitch as he possibly can. And it looks like uh, ball was taken back. So a complete loss of concentration from Kavindu de Costa. Not realizing where he was. Takes the ball all the way back and Chatra Seniratna was very deep in the pocket as well. So well, I think it was a couple of yards outside the line. And then again, Chatra was like you said, he was very deep inside and probably he didn't notice that as well. But also, actually, he was going for deep. But if you look at it, the wind was blowing across the field. Would have contributed. But now, police, they have the chance to capitalize on that. Very much close. And another five points on the cards for them. So this is what we were talking about earlier, Clifford. Chatura does some great things and also puts his team under pressure with a few of these things, these mistakes. Mohan Vimaranatna, they're trying to sack that mall, but not able to do so quickly. And now maybe having a little bit of space now. Seniratna to Kalindu Nandila. Still going. Nandila dragged to the ground eventually. Zubay Dore goes in and creates that ruck. And here it is through Kalindu de Costa. Dore at uh, first receiver. Achit Radishan. Now it's quick ball. This is what Sia would like to see. Lasin Vishan. Taking that forward past the halfway line. <laughs> that move slowing down, but again, CR still had the ball with them. So the referee calls up advantage. Well, Shanaka, so far, I think that was the best running rugby we had so far in the game, actually. CR, that's a typical CR style of play. And um, multiple passages and good faces and fantastic. Finally, CR was rewarded with the penalty. And um, I'm sure they want to go for touch from here onwards. And if Chatura can get that right. Oh, it's quite interesting. He's going to go for the post. And um, yeah, great confidence from the captain. 
Well, I don't know whether it's confidence or lack of confidence, Clifford, because if I was on the opposition and uh, the team is experimenting with 55-yard penalties, that means that I've got under their skin. I know that their light out is not functioning well. I know that they're not confident with their running rugby. So for police, this will be an actual, even if he gets this, it's going to be a morale booster. Makes sense. So let's see whether Chatra Siniguran can make it count this time. Last occasion, about five yards in front. He pulled it a little bit wide inside. The chase has to be good for Sia. It's not anywhere near good. But it doesn't matter because he's put it over. The much easier kick that he missed a few moments ago. This is, this is how erratic he can be. When he's good, he's great. <laughs> Look at that distance. And going for it. And beautiful dip right above the line. And makes life much easier for the touch judges to make the call. 10-9. Police on the docks at the moment. They had a lead, thought it's going to be healthy, but see are fighting back. Good chase from uh, Heshan Tilakaratna. Has been playing well in this number eight jersey. Caterpillar ruck for Sia. And that ball bouncing inside the field of play. Shanaka, since this is a knockout, if this is going to be a tie, is it going to be extra time? I think it is going to be extra time, uh, Clifford. We'll have that clarified perhaps at half time. Well, you have to grind out a result somewhat. It's a knockout. There's no provision for a second leg. The Lanjan Vijay Singh is so instrumental in police so far. Amjad Faumi does really well at the back of that line out now. Good Let's instinct from, Sudha, uh, from Dulanjana. Just threw it to the open man because see I have adopted this tactic of standing at the front of the line out. And here's Lassen Luisa now with a little bit of space. Kalidu Nandila calling for the kick through and uh, Chatura Seniratna obliges. Primesh Danushka is the man back. Shane Hopwood now will start the counter attack. He's always keen to run. Drag down in the tackle. Here's Primesh Danushka again. Good counter attack that was by Hopwood. Yes, Tilakaratna. Lahiru Tilakaratna that time. Number five. The number seven judge. So two Tilakaratnas. For CI, seven and eight. The high tackle is what uh, the referee blows up that penalty for. Looks like the police player might be in a bit of strife. But uh, sometimes that strife is to try and milk a yellow card from a lot of players nowadays. But the referee was number five who was going in for the high tackle. That was Hiro Anthony. Let's keep a watch on that. Khalid Nandila dragging the police player down there. Premier Stanushka running into Hiro Anthony. Yeah, runs into Anthony's bicep. Hiro will say, what can I do, sir? He's only up to my chest. But for me, Shadak, it looks very accidental. And um, he just collects the ball and he turns around and he finds Suhir Anthony there. Not even a couple of feet away. And, um, well, that's that's how the law of the rugby, law of the game is applied. So well, police there is head contact, that's going to be where the problem is, is Dick Clifford. They start from there. And that didn't look good as far as head contact was concerned. But as you said, there was no force. So I think uh, penalty is probably the right call for referee Alexander to make. So another opportunity goes down the drain for CRNFC penetrating into police half. And it's a turnover ball. Police, they have some breathing space trying to go with the kick against the wind, I would say. But manage to get some yardage. But Shanak, if you look at it, this game, the way it started with the hype, but looks very slow and lethargic, isn't it? 
Oh, absolutely. And I think that's uh, playing right into Police's hands because CR and FC haven't been able to get that kind of tempo going. And that's why Police are in the lead at the moment because it's a stop-start game. There's been no fluency. And uh, some teams revel in a slow game. And Police is one of those teams. So again, look for Dulanjan over the top to Amjad Faumi. And oh dear, that's going to be probably a red. So yellow, he's lucky. That was absolutely silly by Vageshavira Singha. He knew what he wanted to do and the idea was right, but he absolutely has to execute that perfectly. <coughs> Amjad Faumi jumped, but Bagisha was not looking where he was going. That's very silly from an experienced player. Well, completely mistimed it. He thought he was going to stand and collect like the previous occasion. And Bagisha Virasinga. See, I flanker. Sitting in the dock spot against, I hope, for me, is not that badly hurt. Was just landing with the shoulder and um, hope he's okay. But then again, another opportunity for police to pick it up from there and go move a little bit further. Uh, do we have to wait for the call to see whether it's going to be? <coughs> Looks like Anjit Fahmi is back. Yeah. Props are generally. Pretty decent actors. Trying to milk something a little bit more than a yellow perhaps, but I thought Vagi Shavira Singha found himself quite lucky there because that tackle was pent up. He's lucky the color was not the same color as his jersey. All right, chance again here for police. To extend their lead, if they can make this count, they're quite good with this line outs. Dulanjana goes to the back again. That was Lahiru Tilakaratna winning that one. Thought that that was sacked in time, but referee Alexander doesn't think so as Dulanjana Vijay Singha barges this one up towards the opposition 22. It was the opposition try line, but the penalty is coming and Surya Peruma will look to take it quickly, but thinks better of it in the end. The mall has been functioning really well for police, so I think they should probably go for that mall. Prince Chamara does step up and sanity prevails. Little emotions running high at half time as well. So the forwards are planning it. Quite good to see that. Haven't seen that happening in CR camp. Pretty much of the game. But right now, Police. 10 points to 9. They're very much looking forward to extend that. And a score here, you have to say, will put them in prime position to win this game. The way things have been going already. Surya Peruma winning it at the front. Achit Radisha manages to get in there and... Looks like referee Ravin Alexander again is quite consistent with that call as the ball goes down. And he says it's held up and that will be half time. So 10 points to 9, absolutely nothing in it. Sierra and FC with 14 players on the pitch. They'll have to play another about 8 minutes with 14 players. Can police take advantage of that in the next few minutes as they come back from half time? So that's going to be... What we expect to see in the next 40 minutes, an absolute humdinger of a battle between Police Sports Club and CRNFC for a place in the finals of this Clifford Cup brought to you by Nippon Paints. We'll be back after the break. We'll be back after the highlights and that's Chatra Seniviratna with the first points of the game. After CR had spent quite a long time in the opposition half and immediately afterwards Prince Chamara replying to make it three points all where it stayed for a while before this try just getting it over the line was Dulanjana Vijay Singha everybody looking up for a few seconds to see what the referee says and because the referee wasn't on hand Gihan Yatavara had to step in and assist his uh, main referee and got the call spot on 
The ball was grounded over the line. No question about that, even from the angle that we are seeing it. And then uh, that man in your screen, number seven, Vagisha Virasinghe. Had a moment of madness, which we'll see in a, mo in a bit. As Tenukanane Akara puts here within four points. And then Chatra Seniviratna with a monster kick put them within one point. So 10 points to nine is how it stayed. As the yellow card came into focus as well. And that's uh, the National National Archives watching this game from behind the tree line. We'll be back on uh, Sri Lanka Tuskers YouTube channel. Live coverage of the semi-final of the Clifford Cup tournament between Police and Sia in just a few moments. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles, original equipment manufacturer approved, Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. Then odorless tarkshane. Nippon odorless paints. Tatve nosas honda materina. Nippon paints live with colors. Nippon paints live with colors. of your aches and pains. Sidale Per Spray. Trusted for eight decades for quick relief from all aches and pains. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved. Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. <laughs> Then odorless tarkshane. Nippon odorless paints. Tatve nosas honda materina. Nippon paints live with colors. Nippon paints live with colors. Take care of your aches and pains. 
Sedale Labor Spray. Trusted for eight decades for quick relief from all aches and pains. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. Wasare kase te ka viswasen, then odorless takshanen. Nippon, odorless paints. Tatve nusas honda materina. Nippon paints live with colors. Nippon paints live with colors. Take care of your aches and pains. Sedar Labor Spray. Trusted for eight decades for quick relief from all aches and pains. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. <laughs> Wasare kase te ka viswasen, then odorless takshanen. Nippon, odorless paints. Tatve nusas honda materina. Nippon paints live with colors. Nippon paints live with colors. the game between CRNFC and Police and this is the fantastic uh, finals I would say quarterfinals between um, Police and CRNFC at the Clifford Cup Championship 2023 presented by Nippon Paint and Police going into the halftime with the lead 10 points to 9 and was a heavily a forwards contest in the first half and the second half hopefully it's going to be a different ball game Shanika. Well, well, hopefully we'll see some running rugby instead of this uh, stop-start that we have been seeing so far. Prince Chamara putting that high into the 22. 
Zubair Dore coming away with it for Sia and laying it back for Chatra Seniratu to get the first clearing kick of the day. Doesn't find touchstone, not sure whether he meant to, but Shane Hopwood with a raking kick down, looking for that 50 22. Lassen Divishan has covered well. Yeah, he is trying a few uh, sidesteps, managed to get outside the 22 and was brought down by his opposite number, Tilakaratna. Him today, Seniratna again. This time he kicks it a little short, just up to the halfway line. Dulanjana Vijay Singer can do nothing wrong today with a huge up and under. Well taken in the end by the CR skipper, Kevin De Costa. My goodness, that was a huge up and under. Probably a world record for the height of an up and under by a hooker. Run away, run away. Survive. De Costa now with that box kick that we haven't seen for a while manages to bounce it into the field of play and that'll settle the nerves for the skipper haven't really seen him do much this season very dangerous player from the base but uh, resorting to box kicks more than anything else it would be nice to see him run little sniper from the base of that scrum when he was at Isipatan in his early days at Sia but it's playing a different game nowadays. Whereas Primes Danushka, the opposite number nine, is full of life, full of energy around that base. Prince Chamara entrusted with the number 10 duties today. See us sacking that mall very early on. Ball goes to ground and Dulaj and Vijay Singh are now trying to rip it away. Ball was taken into the mall, so it doesn't look like anything's happening as Prince Chamara now puts this one to his spiral punt. And the spiral kick, very difficult to take, but Zube Dore turns the correct way. Puts this little chip kick in. And ball bounces nicely for Gamanu Chetia. Gamanu Chetia, can he get away? Eventually finds Kalindu Nandila. Get back, get back. Achit Radishan, now uh, Subair Dure with the long ball out, but it looks like police have numbers on defense. So Lassin Duishan sensibly cutting back Go into away. where his support is. Kavin Srivikum gets in there to help with the breakdown. Chatra Seniviret now, now using that little fend, unfortunately throws the ball away, but for luckily for Sia, Ravin De Silva manages to grab it. Here's Kavin Srivikum, good tracken by Mohan Tilakratna on the Sia ball carrier. Here's Dure. Long pass out to Gamanu Chetia once again, tripping over his own feet as he's brought down on the 40-meter line. It's static ball now, Achit Radishan. Well done by the CR front row forwards to actually hold on to that ball. Then Ukanane Akkara and then there's a knock-on by uh, Chatra Seniviratna there. So all that good work coming to nothing as we follow this match on our leading sports broadcast in Sri Lanka sports ads follow us on the youtube channel as well sri lanka sports tuskers Pramesh danushka in the year of the referee trying to milk something but only getting a scrum well very lively passage of play for crnfc there good ball handling sharing the ball around spreading those wings and working the ball in both ways but finally a little bit of mishandling and giving that ball away and good lively start look at that replay completely unnecessary throw of the ball from Tenukanane Akkara needed to go down and just hold on to that can't blame Chatra Seniviratna for that knock on but again you see how many how much time has passed between that stoppage and the scrum actually coming into play this is playing right into the hands of police and they will be quite happy to grind this out and see I need to get a little smarter and see if they can work a little faster but police will be quite happy for the referee to play at this place, Pramesh Tanushka. Dulan Janavijay Singh are keeping it on at the back. The scrum is doing a little better for Sia this time. And this penalty is against the grain, against how the game has been going all the way through. And Amjad Faumi, for the first time, has been pinged for driving upwards in the scrum. 
Well, once again, kickable distance. The previous kick was from the same spot, I guess. And this time against the opposite post. Thank you, Atta. 9 10. And well, so far we haven't seen CR getting the lead, anyways. Pali has been leading from the beginning. So this gives a chance for CR and FC to get in front of, or rather, get ahead of Police. Well, they did have the lead for a small window of the game, uh, Clifford, when they kicked the first point, so Chaturas and Iratna kicked the first three, but since then they've been either equal or behind. But that chat, if you were watching that, that didn't look like a confident CR team because Chaturas and Iratna looking at Soiru Anthony, Soiru Anthony probably saying, look, I don't have the, the faith in my forwards to go and win this mall. So they're taking a kick from 40 or well, nearly 50 meters on the angle from the wrong side of the field for a right-footed kicker. So Chatra Seni Ratna gets this. It looks great. But if not, you've got to think of whether they should have been looking for a little bit more. And that's exactly what it is. As the ball drifts well wide, the kicking coach, T.S. Silva, at yeah, the yeah, back. Yeah. You can see Chatra saying, perhaps we should have gone down. Perhaps we should have got into the 22. It shows a little bit of lack of confidence in their set place. And uh, well, most of the opportunities what CR was getting, pretty much kickable distance, and they were opting for points. Well, makes sense in a way. But on the other hand, they could have taken those chances early on and uh, going in to penetrate. Karnatilaka deciding to go on his own. Goal available, goal available. Yes, uh, the new man, Amit Gurusingha, coming into the CR side today. A lot of depth from the CR backs and Gamunu Chetia. Again, the pass is not a good one. Look back, look back. Referee playing on there, saying that the ball went backwards. Step through, Kasemi Ratna. We have it again for Manil Karuberu, his first uh, touch of the match in the 46th minute. Here it is for Kavin. Roll away, roll away, bro. It's a lot of appealing. It's like you're watching a cricket match, isn't it, Clifford? The players are appealing like Shane Warren. <laughs> Well, Shaneka also, if you look at when CR every time CR was trying to work the line, the, the first line, the second line, the back line who is coming into join, when the ball was dished out to them, seems like they were not prepared. Kind of like they were not prepared and they don't have much options. So that is what is happening. If not, their line was pretty much built or rather formed well in depth, very nice to see. And they have plenty of angle towards running, but then again, they are running out of options for some reason. They're going side to side like a pendulum. Nobody's really straightening the offense. That's been their problem all the way through this season. Been playing some nice patterns, but just not being able to get much purchase for it. Rachit Adishan that time. And uh, Sia, despite missing the jumper, have managed to win the line out. And Ravin De Silva drags it into the 22. Denukanane Akkara, that's a nice pass from the fly half. Good hands from Kalindu Nandila as well. Zubair Dore and that's Gamuru Chetia jumping over one tackle. He's found the ball, so Denukanane Akkara to Atit Rajeshan. Miranda Halshane is in there as well, a substitution being made for Vaki Shavira Singh, I would think. Denukanane Akkara taking it to the line as well to get past a couple of tackles. Here's some good space found by Kavindu De Costa. Oh, Ravind De Silva does really well to come back into the field of play, take it within the five meter mark. Lahiru Pavitra, I think that is on the pitch. Yes, it is Lahiru Pavitra. And that's a good handoff uh, from Soiru Anthony to Aranda Harshana. And police turn the ball over. Aranda Harshana giving away the pass at a point that he wasn't expected by the opposition. And Prince Chamara very calmly runs that ball and puts it into touch. Sia would feel that they had really missed an opportunity there. 
Oh, so, so unfortunate, Chanaka. They were so there and almost touched it down. And again, that loose tackle and ball falling in nowhere's, no man's land. And police was quick to grab onto that loose ball and turn it around. And CRNFC, all the hard work once again goes down the drain. And right now, the good thing is, even though they have missed those opportunities, a uh, couple of occasions they missed it, but now they have the ball in hand inside police territory. That is what is important. And uh, let's see if they can build on this momentum, build on this previous move and capitalize on this to convert things into points. And as we speak, the line out seems to be clean and it's a good breakaway run. Run away, run away, number by, one. Nicely done by Lassen Luisha and Karuna Tilaka, who has been at the center of most things that Sia have done well today. And that's a terrible pass again from uh, Kavindri Dikosta at the bootlaces with Anukanane Akara again. Can't blame him for dropping that one. And this is where the senior players need to stand up for Sia as police. We'll just keep pushing back and be super happy that they've repelled that attack. Unfortunately for police, we haven't seen the likes of Madhushankar with the ball in hand today. You can see that they're making a nuisance of themselves by standing in the face of the defense and forcing that bad pass. Oh, another chance goes begging for CRNFC. And police, well, credit should go to them. Their defense has been absolutely fantastic. Not giving much width for CR three quarters to run, even though the CR three quarters are forming very deep inside Chanaka. Absolutely, Clifford. Premier Sanushka goes under the post for Prince Chamara to thump this one downfield. He hasn't looked for touch. That ball also has gone backwards. It looks like uh, no, it hasn't. It's gone forwards so two misses from Zubair Dore uncharacteristic from him usually pretty safe under the high ball but Prince Chamara kicks it in a very old-fashioned way isn't it Clifford he spirals the ball which is not something that a lot of kickers Number do nine. now and Number a lot of fullbacks probably don't have that spiral kick to contend with but really should have done better Dore under no pressure just misjudged that ball. Well, I think on that occasion he was with two minds, uh, concentrating on the ball and also looking at the charging player. And there you go, that's Ture. And it's been a fantastic sell for CRNFC. He has uh, had a good season so far, I would say. He scored a couple of tries and done some very good things, releasing players outside him. But needs to improve. In a few areas, I'm sure he'll be the first to admit that. As CR make an important substitution, bringing on Viduna Amanet for the captain. So that uh, bootlace pass was the last contribution from Kavindu. He will hope that he will get to lead his team into the final, but at the moment, police will be taking that spot if the game finishes now. Police eventually getting the numbers there to win that ball. Dulanjana still takes three players to bring him down. Manil Karuberu eventually brings down the freight train. And here's Prince Chamar again looking for the corners. Nilfa Ibrahim has taught his players what to look for against his CR side. That could have been a very good kick, but Kalindu Nandila fielded it beautifully. Well, good intention, but well collected by CRNFC as well. Well, Shana could be time and again we talk about teams rebuilding season after season. And CR we see for the last three seasons been rebuilding. Well, I'm not sure whether the rebuilding phrase has been stopped or still is it in ongoing. Well, one thing that they've always had to do is be able to retain players, Clifford, and the problem with that has been the availability of budgets for them. Some of the forces players, obviously, they're being paid a decent salary from the force to actually play rugby, so the demands of their budgets are probably not as telling 
as it is for a private club who have to find sponsorships, who, which has been difficult in the last couple of years. But if this young lot can be retained and trained and um, inculcate the CRC culture and the traditions, the values of the club, I'm sure you'll be able to. Uh, the club will be able to achieve better results in coming years. And having said that, you can see this season has been a pretty good season for CRNFC. Yes, they've come from 7-2 to two in the league, which I think is a huge leap for any club. But, of course, winning this silverware, the Clifford Cup, will be what they desperately want. Ball picked up by Kavin Srivakum, but again, there's a stoppage. So, once again, that stoppage playing into the hands of police and referee Alexander needs to understand what's happening. Also bringing health and safety into play here, but play could have gone on with the doctor coming on. Lovely tackle from Chatur Seniratna lining up Madhushankar, but he's up and playing the police number 13. Uh -huh. Didn't really see what happened in that number tackle, 14. if we can watch it again. Number 14. Gihan Yatavara again alerting the referee to that head knock, but could probably have allowed the medical staff to come on with the play to continue. Wow. That's interesting. It'll be good to be able to see that tackle again. Well, that was Gabon Uchetia. As soon as he committed for that tackle, he knew he was wrong and put his arm around, or rather arm up and said, that was me. And uh, then again, uh, made life easy for referee, but shouldn't have been the tackle, but it was pretty much not unintended so I hope the play is okay really would be good to see that tackle again <coughs> here it is this is not the one this is Chatra Seniratna here's Chetia in the number 14 shirt yep was a clothesline so that's bad discipline from Two very important players for Sia, Gamanu Chethi and Vagish Avira Singh. And if uh, this game is lost, they'll have to think back to that game in Kandy as well, where they gave away two crucial yellow cards and made some unforgivable errors. And uh, they'll have to think it's more of the same if police manage to go ahead and spring a surprise here. You can see the CR section of the crowd looking pretty dejected, and rightly so, because their team have not been playing like the favourites they are for this Clifford Cup. Dulanjana Vijay Singh to Mohan Vimalaratna. Here's Heshan Tilakaratna off the back again. Sketchy tackle again, that time from Lasindu Vishan. And it looks like Lasindu Vishan might go to the bin as well. Back-to-back to back two yellow cards, and this is going to be carnival for police, I would say. 13 against 15 inside, deep inside CRNFC territory. And obviously, they'll be going for points. Well, we're good to see that one again as well, because Lassan Dishan insisting that he tried to wrap, but this looked worse than the first one he got a penalty for. Here it is off the back, Hashan Tilakaratna. And looked like Hashan jumped into the tackle. So that's dangerous play again from the ball carrier also. So CR and FC find themselves two players down. And uh, Lashan Dushan tried to wrap his arms but said there was no player to wrap my arms around. As you can see that Tilakaratna was in the air. So a couple of interesting calls. Gihan Yatavara intervening there as well. And Prince Chamara makes no mistake as police go into a lead 13 points to 9. Okay, okay. Well, Shanaka, for a moment I thought police, their line has been working well for them and they have 13 against 15, thought they're going to go for touch. But again, they're opting to go for points here. But makes sense, they're extending the lead, probably they'll work on that. And that is what it matters. And right now, still police have the advantage. Um, 13 against 15 and 13-9 is the score 
and gradually extending the lead. CR have a lot to do from here on. With 13 players, that mountain is getting even more difficult to climb. And there's another bit of ill discipline. Around the Harshan at that time, on Dulanjana Vijay Singh. Looks like that might be another yellow card. See, I might have three players in the bin. Well, that's going to be interesting. These are basic stuff. Knows the player wasn't here. Seems to be another card coming up. Yeah, and you can't argue with this uh, Clifford. Around the Harshana. Made his own bed there and now he's got to lie in it for 10 minutes so 12 plays 15 <laughs> and you can't argue with that I did have a few things to say about Lassen the Vishan's yellow card because I thought Hashan Tilakaratna Heshan Tilakaratna jumped into that tackle and you can see the sin bin is looking more like the CR bench <laughs> very much so but again police I'm sure they'll be capitalizing on that coach must be having a laugh and it's going to give them a lot of confidence now. They have the lead and that's going to be dangerous. Look at that replay. He's around the Harsh and it is really well to get there. Well, we didn't see it at that angle. It was the other angle that will show it to us. Really was quite dangerous. Dulanjana Vijay Singh did well to spring up. Vijay Singh has been very instrumental in winning penalties. It's the fourth penalty that he was involved in. That's not how he'd want to do it though. Not at the receiving end. You can see Sia's body language has already dropped off the top. And uh, now they will run against uh, a ragged defense. Have to do all the work. Madhushankar. Here's Janit Chanaka. First touch of the ball for the former Josephian. Ball uh, dropped backwards as... Fernando waits for it at the back. Amjad Farmer with a lovely short ball to Surya Peruma. Primesh Tanushka now to Hopwood who's come up into the line. Dulajana Vijay Singh with a lovely pass to the right. Away, Cutting right, back into away. the field of play was uh, the police Pradeep Kumar. Surya Peruma. Good tackle on uh, the number 26. Madhusanka to Kumara. And a good tackle by Khaludin Andila again. That the ball is available now. And Kavin Srivikum. Here's Ravin De Silva looking for players to pass to. And there aren't many of them left. So not sure again why that advantage was stopped because it looked like see I might have numbers over on the outside. <coughs> but referee Alexander yeah, not making by Khaludin Andila despite, again. Uh, there being the plenty of room for it to now. happen. Coming back to attend the yeah. injured players. I'm not sure to. that that's the yes. correct protocol. Silva, especially if the players are passed to. And there aren't many of them left. Well, good passage of play so there by sure police. Again why that advantage Six or seven stopped different because faces. it looks like CR might have numbers over down, on the outside. Good defensive tackle coming equally from CR and FC. But referee Alexander yeah. not yeah. letting the ball go on despite there being plenty of room for it to happen. Coming back to attend the injured players. I'm not sure that that's the correct protocol. Especially if the players are passed to. And there aren't many of them left. Well, good passage of play there by Police. I'm not sure why that advantage was a very very good tackle. Like CR might have numbers over on the outside. Good defensive tackle coming equally from CR and FC. But referee Alexander not letting the ball go on until the game. Stop the game for a time. There being plenty of room for it to happen. Coming back to attend the injured players. I'm not sure that that's the correct protocol. I'm not sure that that's the correct protocol. And there aren't many of them left. Well, good and passage of play there by Billy. Why that advantage is stopped? Very very good tackles. Like really keep might pass the ball down, down but a good outside. defensive tackle coming equally from CR and FC. But referee Alexander not letting the ball go on until the game. Stop the game for a time. Well, when all is available, the hand is due to coming back to attend the injured players. Not really sure that that's the correct protocol. The ball is not going to be passed. Especially running against the 12 men, many of them left. 
Like they might have scored. Yes, it is. Out hooks the ball came out the back. Looks like they might have scored. 
Yes, it is. Out hooks the ball, came out the back. Somehow, Rossi Silva got wrong. Who scored that try when you have a 12 man height and a and it looks like they might have scored. Yes, it is. Out hooks the ball, came out the back. Somehow, Rossi Silva got wrong. Who scored that try when you have a 12 man height and a and it looks like they might have scored. Yes, it is. Out hooks the ball, came out the back. Somehow, Rossi Silva got wrong. Who scored that try when you don't have a 12 man height and a and it looks like they might have scored. Yes, it is. Out hooks the ball, came out the back. Somehow, Rossi Silva got wrong. Who scored that try when you don't have a 12 man height and a possibly can and that's perfectly fine <laughs> Mohan Vimaratna calling for it the ball. it's been excellent in the line out has Vimaratna today looks like that was a truck and trailer and referee on the spot to see that Lassen Duisan, who's back on the park, will think about taking this one quickly. But instead, Chatra Senayuratna will try to get them a few more yards. And that's a decent kick from the Sia outside centre. with the ball carrier being dislodged from the mall so you've got to stay in contact with your bind arm all the way up to the shoulder all the way through and the police ball carrier that time becoming dislodged Achit Radishan sacked that time by the police player nicely done by police but they've uh, managed to give away an advantage Amanet police Line completely offside there. Amanet will try to take this one quickly. That's he does. And he goes to the line. Drag down just inches short. Senora Pereira now carries it on. Lasindu Ishan will go over for the first try for CRNFC. He's had it all to do. Was pinged for a block tackle on Dulan Janavijay Singh early in the first half. Was very unfortunate to be sent off later on in the game. Uses his leg drive to good effect and gets over for the try. Well, Shanaka, it's a good try, well played, one by CRNFC and capitalizing on that move. And also you can see CRNFC players are showing some urgency right now. And that also shows that they have some intention of winning this game. So they're not giving up. Well, they've left the urgency till the 70th minute almost. Clifford, have to ask where that was in the last hour or so. <laughs> a very crucial kick. The police fans on this side of the pitch letting Chatra Seniviratna know exactly what they think of him but uh, that spurs him into action and he manages to convert that so it's a seven point.
good from both Prince Charmer and Chatra today. A quite interesting fact, Chanaka, if you look at the Clifford Cup. Since 1950, where the clubs are involved, 57 was the first day it was played outside of Colombo, and that was in Radhela Grounds. And then again, until 1992, it was played in Colombo as the tradition, and 92 it was shifted to Candy. And that's the first time that Candy has ever won the Clifford Cup. And right now, it's happening here back in Colombo at Racecoast. Well, around the Harshan is having a match to forget. See, are restored to their full complement, but Harshana, with a very simple collection of the restart, has gifted this dominant police scrum the ball. These are the mistakes that they cannot afford at this moment in time, but police are so experienced. Nilifay Ibrahim's side, very calm, composed, just allowing Sia to play into their own hands. You have to take your hat off to Mohan Vimalaratna, who now moves to the flank who has kept Five. this police team really well oiled. Surya Peruma at the back of the scrum this time. Yes, Madhushankar gets a chance to run for the first time in this game. Big tackle that time on Surya Perma, who even on the ground continues to give instructions. Here's the ball available for Prince Chamara, who tries a drop kick. It's well wide. And Zubair Dore, I don't know why he was taking so long, will touch it down. Finds a little bit of space with his drop kick and uh, manages to find a bit of territory as well. So, good thinking from Dore at that point. Well, sensible bit of play there by CRNFC. Saw that drop goal not coming through. And good collection and recharge. And managed to bring the team back into the police territory until such time they were a little bit under pressure, trying to deal with the attack. But police intentions are also clear, Shanaka. They just want to get away uh, with this game and trying to add more points. If they have another slip or a missed opportunity, that could cost the game for them. Well, it's 20 points to 16 at the moment. <coughs> and you can see that Prince Chamara is just pointing downfield and saying, let's just play the game in the opposite half. And you can't argue with the police fly half. Ravindi Silva almost got a hand to that, but Surya Peruma comes away with it. And this police line out and drive has been excellent today. Still going. Good discipline from CR to keep it up there. Finally splintering and going to ground. Primesh Tanushka. And that's where exactly where he was pointing Prince Chamara. Zubair will wait for it, but beautifully taken. Well, not taken, but knocked on by Madhushankar. Here's Gamunu Chetia running into the arms of uh, Prince Chamara and there he loses the ball forward. And uh, they will come back for the first knock on. So Chetia lucky that advantage was not over. Well, it seems like the CRNFC three quarters have woken up now. They know there's an urgency. They know their the time is running out for them. Tackled by Prince Chamara to stop him in his tracks. Chetia has got to be careful about leading with that forearm. The fend is clearly not something that players are taught nowadays. Lassen De Vishan goes off the back. Dummies looks for some support now and finally gets it. Amanet. Again, the. Advantage was coming, but the referee opts to 
blow the game up while see I have the ball. So few times that has happened. Referee Alex. So that's another really good kick from Sanjeev Ratna, who's used the pressure well. He's turned back. And he's performing better than that lackluster middle period of the game. Keep the gap. Keep the gap. Keep the gap. So I will probably go to number two. Keep the gap in this line out. So are driving over, and it looks like they might have got the ball down. Yes, they have. It looks like it's uh, Asha and Darling. Or uh, Amit Gurusinga who touches down. And suddenly, police have the game to play all over again. What a charge. It's a late charge and it's a good comeback. And beautifully worked. And using much of the power there to drive through and police. This is what is they were waiting for and finally the CR forwards they are pumping their fist in the air something beautiful to watch but on the other hand police they had the game in hand but they really have to work hard to get that game back into their hands CR and FC on the other hand moving forward with a strong charge a late late charge so they've just got it into the lead and this to make that lead three points instead of one Chaturvasana with his most difficult kick of the game and wow the pressure really has had a positive impact on Chatura as they are now going to the lead by kicking boots at half time Clifford well delivering at the big moments that is what it matters for good players and he is doing it. But police who have been in front for most of this game will continue to have a run. You can see that uh, no, 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 things have shifted. And Mohan Vimararatna completely not understanding that there was a ruck there, not willing to understand that there was a ruck there. <laughs> Going straight in after the ball and see I don't have to do anything silly now. Well, the final thing is he was trying to prove a point, Chanaka, after that call. The police team now have it all to do. And they've got some game breakers in their side, Clifford. Madhushanka is one of those players. And if they can get the ball into his hands, Vihanka Pivituru as well, who's just come onto the park, fresh legs. They need to run at this CR team. Just create a little bit of indecision in the defense. Shane Hopwood, another man who can counter-attack well. Ravin De Silva and again the throw is completely awry. Shanika, both teams racing against time. So both teams racing against time and seems like CR are slightly ahead of police and if they can hold on to this that's going to be a thriller. Well police will want to try and milk a penalty from this scrum, try and get down to the other end of the field. Premier Damaska to feed, here they go for a drive and the arm is up from uh, the referee, not sure where Sia actually came away from that because the front row still looked like it was bound.
Danushka. Long pass from Prince Chamara to Heshan Tilakaratna. They'll go all the way back to that penalty though. Thotsia did well to stay down and stay bound, but the referee is still seeing the penalty. Well, considering the previous infringement, it has become habitual now. It's pretty much instincts when you go into a scrum. But that's the tactics that police was carrying throughout the game, and they've been very successful in that. And the question from now onwards, how far they can go from here and how best they can restore the lead. But on the other hand, CR, they have done all the hard work and they really have to work for a little few more minutes to hold on to this lead. Amit Gurusinghe, that time, winding up on the ground and again, it's the injured players taking up this time. Police didn't seem to be in too much of a hurry, although they should have, because they're chasing the game with not a lot left on the clock. But the time is off, so... No worries for many of them. Shenal Adhikari is the man who's on the pitch. In the forwards for police. Time back on. <coughs> Going up. Ball has bounced in the field of play and that's not something that the CR player should have allowed to bounce but now they have an opportunity to counter attack. Here's Prince Chamara trying to atone for his mistake. Eventually a tackle is made. Manil Kuruberu was the man making it. Vihanga Pivuture now cutting back in field. Ruberu makes another tackle. Prince Chamara to Rasit Silva. Here's Surya Peruman. There's numbers on the outside. Here's Madhusankar. He's a danger man. Takes two players to bring him down. But over the ball is Rachit Adishan and uh, Lasindu Vishan. And Madhusankar says, What could I do, sir? It's really good uh, work from the CR back rowers late on in the game. Especially on the dangerous Madhusanka. I can see Chatur Senardi coming from the ref. The time left. And he'll be kicking accordingly. Oh, that's a good kick. Was Adishan getting back? Enjoying that, the flanker. Sia do well to secure that eventually. But looks like there was a knock on. And that looks like uh, the game is done and dusted. So we've lost the clock on our screens, but uh, it's 80 minutes. And the knock forward has happened, so the game will come to an end. And police, despite leading for most of that game, and looking like they deserve to win it, couldn't survive that late charge from CRNFC. Police doing wonderfully well for a majority of that game, having 12 players to play against. And that was the period, Clifford, that they will look back and think we didn't capitalize enough at the time that we were playing against 12 players. So perhaps that's a little moment that when Tulanjana Vijayasinghe went off, that's when police started uh, to uh, let go of the control and the grip that they had on this game. Relieved man on the left of your picture there, Dushant Leuke. A little bit of bromance between the teams. Well, it's obvious heated contest. 23-20. So that's the final score, 23-20. And Dushanta Luke, who was sitting in the bench, a little bit worried.
the largest paid supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. <laughs> Was a recassette a viswas in, then orderless tarction in Nippon, orderless paints. Tatwe nosas on the materima. Nippon paints live with colors. Nippon paints live with colors. Take care of your aches and pains. Sidale Per Spray. Trusted for eight decades for quick relief from all aches and pains. <laughs> 